Okay, we're here for a second game with Domain Zoo. This is Matt. Welcome back to Just for Fun. And we're having some fun in Popper tonight. Let's wish our opponent a fun game. And we lost the die roll. Okay. I'm not sure if I mind. We want to be up cards in this deck. Um, this is okay. We can presence into Skyfisher, and if it gets killed, we can unearth it back. That seems reasonable. Um, if it lives, we can rancor it up and beat down with a 4-3 flyer. That seems pretty decent. Opponent mauled. Okay, so that's beneficial to us. Just thinking hard about whether or not to go to 5 here, which is also good. Um... So if he keeps, that means he's kitchen, keeping a sketchy six. Okay. Kept the sketchy six rather than going to five. Okay. Making use of the new cons gain life lands. Those are very powerful. Much respect to that. Um, okay. Normally I would just fetch now for F6 purpose, but... I'm going to do it at the end of opponent's turn to see if we can stall longer on him having any clue what we're up to. Okay, kept the one lander, which is good for us. That means it's not a terribly explosive start, and with red-white, that's definitely a possibility. I'm going to fetch planes here. Okay, so we've already got Nylea's presence in tribal claims, so that... Um, I'm going to throw down the presence here. No, not a huge rush to get poor Skyfisher out there and bolted, you know? <laughs> I'd rather have something beneficial to return also. For when we do play it. Or we could just draw into Nikhil or Matt Rioters. Rioters would be very good here on the third turn and play a 5-5. It might be pretty hard for a red deck to deal with. Unless he has... I mean, white has intensely powerful removal and pauper. Uh, because you've got O-Ring, Unmake, and uh, Journey to Nowhere. Um, okay, so we've got the Skyfisher. Um, tempting to just play Gnarlid, and then if he doesn't have the Bolt, we're in really good shape. Um... I think I'm going to play the Skyfisher and see if he bolts it right away. And if not, maybe just go for Rancor. See what happens here, if anything. Okay, nothing doing there. Pretty risky to go for Rancor here. Um, we could lose it. Um, so maybe I don't. Just seems like a waste of the one mana, though. Um, you know what? Let's just pass. I don't want to risk it if he kept the bolt here. If, it, if our... Skyfisher does get killed, then next turn we can go um, Presence on Earth. And maybe we rank her thinking he doesn't have a second. We'll see what happens here. Opponent could just be really stuck on lands. Uh, and he does bolt it, so good thing. Good job not going for Ranker. Every single time I play, I pop these out. And that should really be the default. I wish there, uh, um, maybe somebody can let me know in the comments, is there a way to make sure that those just always stay that way? So you do a second land. Don't know what kind of strategy he's on here. If he's just burn, um, I doubt it. He would have had more one mana spells. Um, okay, okay, what do we do here? Um, what we do is we...
interested in... Well, I don't want to just throw Gnarlet out there for it to get bolted also. I'd rather have a couple enchantments out first. So let's Drawing another card. Getting a little deeper here in our deck. Okay, and we drew the rioters, which is nice. I'm definitely playing that next turn. I'm gonna unearth the sky fisher here. Get back presence again. So next turn we go Evolving Wilds, cast Presence on Evolving Wilds, play Mac Riders, draw a card, put a 5-5 five five into play. Uh, it seems pretty good to me. Um, and if our Skyfisher lives to tell the tale here, things are looking pretty good for us. playing burn and he's holding his bolts that would be weird so maybe it's some kind of red white aggro deck or but that wouldn't work with tap lands does it does cast we got another bolt out of him i mean we're pretty far ahead on cards here but we haven't gained any tempo really i mean we, we do have more lands in play which is nice but we haven't been able to like you know stick a threat yet okay prism Oh, so maybe he's playing that bounce deck where it's all, um, it comes into play. So probably like Glinthawk, Skyfisher, and, you know, the, the artifacts that bounce and draw you a card. Um, that's, that deck can get out of, out of control pretty quickly. Okay, so we drew a mountain. So that instead of the wilds here. But we're, I think my plan is still presence a land here. Swamp is the least useful one. Let's do that. And then next turn, maybe we can ranker the rioters and cast an Arlid. And, you know, it would be pretty, pretty hard to lose from there, but, you know, you never know, of course. Um, again, if he's turning to nowhere or something, but that doesn't, he wouldn't in the bounce deck if that's what he's playing. I talk about it as if you guys know what I'm talking about, but no, there's a red-white deck where you just bounce all your own stuff to get ridiculous amounts of card draw and, uh, you know, some pretty efficient uh, threats. See what happens here if you drew into another land drop or not. You know, I just, you know, Riders just could be a really hard card for him to deal with. It's kind of like when you're playing the blue-red version of Delver and your opponent sticks to Tarmogoyf, it's like, well, I mean, I guess I could vapor snag it, but other than that, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to have to spend a couple cards to get rid of it, even if I can. So, uh, I mean, these dudes look pretty angry here. They're beating the drums. They're ready to go to war. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's fill them up with some putrid rancor. Let's get them, uh, even angrier here. Okay, opponent taking a long time here. Sorry about that. Not much we can do there. Not that I've been playing so expediently here, but I feel like we've done a lot more things than our opponent has and still used less time. Okay, what does our opponent do here? Another prism. Okay, he's trying to draw into a third land, I imagine. Okay, nothing. Nothing doing. Passes the turn. Okay, I think we fetch out our island here. This way, if our presence gets removed, we still have all five lands in play. Um, we could just go into Cattle Riders. I mean, that would be pretty disgusting. There is one sweeper in Pauper that can kill um, up to f deal up to five. It's like Swirling Sandstorm or something like that, but nobody plays that card, and it's got threat. It's a four mana thing that has threshold, so it does zero without threshold. It's pretty, pretty rough. I doubt that he's going to play that. Um, 
if he had played a blocker, I'd be more likely to rank her Narlid here, but I think I'm just going to go um, Nicotl Rioters. Um, one, two, three, four, five, which I can, actually, I can still rank her it up. Screw it. Let's just do everything. Let's just do it all. <laughs> Let's do it all. You know, it's good when he's tapped out to get Ranker down. I mean, after this attack and playing these two dudes, it's gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty surprised if he doesn't concede. I mean, I mean, I'm sure it's it's possible to get back and team, but I'm kind of doubting it with um, only two lands in play at this point. Rioters. Okay, buddy. Here's some beef. I hope you're not a vegetarian. <laughs> Serving up some big beefy green dudes here. Okay, Ancient Den. That definitely makes me think he's on the red white bounce deck. And opponent, you know, like, he made a rough decision. He had to mull. He didn't go to five. Um, he kept his sketchy six with one tap land, which was probably not... I mean, he, I guess he knew the bolts would delay him long enough, which, you know, they did help him stay in the game for a little bit here, but even if he... Uh, he doesn't have enough mana, really, here to go off, so... And by go off, I mean cast a bunch of 2-2s two and 2-3s two and uh, equipment and stuff. Uh, a bunch of cards. He doesn't have enough mana to really make enough of a difference, especially you know, he doesn't know I have five points of burn in my hand. I've got 15 power. I've got lethal on the board and he's at 15. That's actually pretty impressive, right? And five points of burn in my hand. If I had an attack like, <laughs> if he was at 20 right now, I could, I could kill him in one turn. That's pretty good. One shot from five colored early popper deck, but I'm, I'm liking this deck. It does a lot of powerful things, and it's pretty versatile because of the fact that you have answers to just about everything, and you know, kind of a nice variety of threats. You know, okay. So opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes. Let's go on here. Now, against this deck, we definitely want Ancient Grudge. Definitely want all three of those. Not sure what else he has in there. Cloak is tempting uh, because he wouldn't be able to race any of our beefy dudes with that. Um, Ranker doesn't seem the best here. Uh, so maybe I take out Ranker, Ranker, and Norlid. That seems good. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And then, you know, we'll see if we need to change anything. I don't know if he's playing the. Um, you know, in those decks, I played the, uh, I don't know what they're called, the white, um, maybe Spellbomb or something, the, the one mana artifact that you can to make a mirror and draw a card. Um, you know, that works decently in that deck. We'll, we'll see. You know, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. This is not the greatest hand. Um, yeah, in fact, I really don't like this hand. I mean, I guess I can fetch for an island, but then I can't cast these. I'd have to brainstorm into another fixer. So it's pretty slow um, on the draw here. Although, you know, I could just fetch for a mountain and then kill everything for a couple turns. Um, that seems... You know, this is not a good hand. I shouldn't be keeping this hand. So we'll see if I get punished for it. Um, but, you know, see what he's got going on. Sometimes you play Cold Oath or Rebirth in that deck. Okay, Bone Splitter. Makes his dudes beefier. Okay, all right. So Rioters is a decent draw. So here, do we go for the Brainstorm? Uh... And then we got to dig into another fixer. And then if we miss, we're just totally boned. 
Or do we, we, we play conservative and get a mountain? I think we get a mountain here. If our opponent explodes, you know, we'll be in trouble. Fetch out our mountain. Pass turn. Affix. Nephilim 21. Spelled differently than uh, the way they do in Diablo. Let's see what he plays here. Okay, good. So we're not an immediate threat of, of doom here. Yep, artifact lands, all legal and proper. So very powerful cards there. At some point, I'll play the Affinity deck for you guys. Um, not enough hours in the day to record all the decks I want to record. <laughs> so <laughs> see what we can do. All right. Pass this turn back. Swamp is not the worst draw. That pumps our Rioters and our Tribal Flames. Okay. What we really want is Presence. Or even abundant growth, um, or some more threats. Yeah, because I really don't want to cast rioters as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a three and just have it bolted. You know, that would be a pretty bad tempo swing for us. Okay. Now he can return his prism and draw another card. Okay. And that's, I, I would definitely return the prism. He's got his two colors of mana, he doesn't need the fixing. Yeah. He could either replay it or equip Bone Splitter now. I'd probably just replay it unless I had some other threat to play. Playing really slowly here. Night Tech, you, gotta, you also got to watch out for Galvanic Blast. So maybe I shouldn't play Riders till it's a 5. Okay, he equips the Bone Splitter. Uh, so, end of his turn, let's bolt his Hawk. So now he wasted a whole turn, basically. So what do we do here? Do we just run out the rioters? Or do we wait until it's it's big enough that he can't deal with it? We don't have a lot of else going on, but he kept up that mountain, I mean that red, which is pretty suspicious. Um I think we just pass here, honestly. In, we don't have another threat to play, so I don't want to just throw out our only threat. Maybe we can goad him into thinking we don't have anything, and then he'll try to burn us to the face. You know? We draw Fixer into Brainstorm. We do have, you know, 16 ways to get to blue. And I'm just going to F6 on his turn here, save some time. Not that he seems too concerned. There's a lot of double queuing in just for fun room. Ardent Recruit, okay, that's a card. <laughs> his deck is very similar to my another deck I have that I'll show you guys later, but yeah, Red White Bounce, I, you know, his version is a little different than mine, but it's it's pretty good. Crew didn't make my, my deck, but uh, very tempting always to, to keep the Tribal Flames as long as possible to, like, burn our opponent out, but it doesn't feel like that kind of game here. I want to remove all his threats and stay alive as long as possible here, and... I told you this was a terrible hand for me to keep, but I'm kind of taking a control role here. Uh, you know, my, my cards are more powerful. He has more draw. Um, 
put in a long game, I'm confident that our power level will take over. what we got going on here. Sky Fisher, okay, now he's going to start drawing. Let's see if he bounces that prism and draws another card. That's what I would do, unless I, again, unless I had another threat to play, but based on his sequence of plays so far, I doubt he, he does. Uh, it, it's always, I mean, in my opinion, if you could play two threats in a turn, it just makes you so much more resilient to spot removal. And in Pauper, there's not a ton of sweepers. There are some, but they're few and far between. And against a lot of decks, there's just no reason to hold back um, if you can put more than one guy out. You know, it's a huge tempo swing. Then they've got to do two removal spells in turn or a, a blocker, a bigger threat. Okay, so yeah, he did um, have another threat there. This is not looking good. Uh, I mean, we can burn out the Skyfisher. Um, because if we, drew, if we get a fixer, we can um, block with our rioters. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do here. Tempt, really tempting to just play the rioters here. Try to maybe trade it for the recruit. I don't want to do it. We've held on this long. We're going to be taking five, though, next turn. But he's probably, I mean, it's very unlikely he doesn't have Bolt, so we'd be playing right into Bolt. Um, and then take five anyway and give him a target for his thing. So, you know, a third of our deck gets us into, you know, our fourth and fifth color here. So, you know, again, um, I'll take the onus on this one for keeping a sketch hand, but not out yet. Um, Ancient Grudge would be nice, too. A bone splitter and great furnace. <laughs> Knock them off metal craft. Or a nah, bone splitter and prism would be better, actually. Let's see what he's got going on here. Legionnaire. Okay. That's a threat. Okay, on Earth. That's nice. Okay, so now I'm not afraid to play our rioters. Because I can get it back. I mean, and what have we got to lose at this point? of turn. Uh, I don't want to me both. Um, yeah, we get bolted. Yeah, that's not good. Take at least eight here. This is looking pretty grim. You know, we get, you know, presence into brainstorm into, you know, there's a lot of powerful turns we could have here. Danger and growth, right? You know, really take him down a peg. You know, and it's embarrassing losing this way, where we're kind of like colored screwed because we're playing our stupid five color deck. But it's really who is the hand I cap? You know, obviously this is going to happen some percentage of the time, but. Here I am trying to tell you guys that you can play five colors and that fixing is good enough, and it is. I'm not even playing any dual lands. Um, but. Ooh, 
Okay, we're just getting burned out here. Taking a sweet time about it. I mean, really. Okay, double galvanic glass. Boy, kind of a slow roll there. Um, do I want to change anything up here? Cloak seems like it might be good. He has a lot of removal though, so I don't want to play orbs into removal. Um, You know, he's kind of threat late. Edict could be okay. Just have even more removal in there. But no, nah, we lost for a lack of lack of creatures there. Electri actually, the Legionnaire makes me want to play Electricity. All right. Well, we already hit some bit. Um, yeah, we can keep this one. Creepy Innistrad art here. <laughs> Maybe I should be playing Treasure Cruise instead of Brainstorm in this deck. I built this before cons came out. Maybe there's some other card in cons that would be good. I really have to take some time and look at all my pauper decks, see if I can and tweak them at all. Um, like, I'm still, I'm not sure, I mean, Windstar Crag is okay, is, 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 is a turn. Um, in that deck, I was playing uh, Kabira Crossroads, but Teetering Peaks is definitely the, the, the land you want to bounce in that deck. Is court homunculus as a one one at this point? Okay, a wild coddle. Hmm, I think we touch mountain because yeah, we have two red cards rather than fetching planes for Sky Fisher. Plays here, ancient den. All right, all right. You're gonna attack. So, do I trade here? I don't think so. I mean, I do have another one, but no, I think I just wait. kind of combat trick you could have. Yeah. And then, you know, Cattle does have a little more value than Monculus later in the game. Come on, show me Ancient Grudge and I'll really blow him out here. Kills Homunculus and Stone Rain him for three mana. Uh, that would be pretty ill. Oh, another one. Okay, okay. I think we Monculus and attack. Reason I bolted that was to keep recruit off Metalcraft. I mean yeah, he could just get it back. I think if I had attacked he probably would have blocked with this. It would have been really greedy of him to block with. 
crew, and you would have known I had it, Greg. Another Nakato here. Okay, so we're, we're in this. We're not in a great position, but I'm not unhappy. And we really need one of our fixers here, and we didn't see one at all the last game. But we do, we do have a lot of them in the deck, so. not on red mana here. I have a mono white aggro version of the deck that he's playing, which is pretty sweet. Um, losing the race here, but we still have bolt, so let's let's not block at this point. If I was on the blocking game, I would have done it last turn. And That's that would be good if I could cast it, but I can't. So this is pretty embarrassing here. Definitely not showing a good, 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 good sock here. But I don't know. It's still pretty fun. Pretty fun deck to play. Guys, nice. slow, please. Come on, man. It's almost tempting to play more to not lose than to win, just because he's taking so much time. But, you know, let the clock kill him, but I, I'm not that kind of guy. Man, let's, let's kill him. I mean, I'll take it if it happens, but I'd rather, I'd rather just put some murder on him. Let's see which way he equips. It would be smarter to equip to the homunculus. Because I'd rather bolt the recruit. Okay, so that was a mistake. I'm going to wait for him to attack before I bolt so he can't move the bone splitter over and hit me for four. Okay, attack, attack. Swings for seven. Seems pretty good on turn four here. No blocks. Okay. Bolt your dude. Two. I'm in the driver's seat. I could just sorcery speed flames out his dude because it doesn't. And if he doesn't play another threat here, uh, seems reasonable. Oh, and you play Sky Fisher, okay. B bouncing what? Bone Splitter? Definitely want a. Oh, bouncing a land, okay. I'm definitely in interested in killing Sky Fisher. Yeah, I think that's the play here. I mean, I, because otherwise I can't attack and get in for four. Um, yeah, let's do that. You know, we're still slightly behind the threes here. Still doesn't have red, which is, you know, much to our help at this point. Didn't equip. That's weird. That changes the math on things. That's good for us. Down to three minutes here. In the yellow caution zone on time. So either way, we're almost finished with this match. <laughs> Prism, okay. Well, that at least fixes his mana for red, so he could bolt one of our dudes or us. He's playing here. Okay, red. 
Okay, Bolt's one of our dudes. Not the best for us, I'll admit. Now he equips it. He, okay, he could have just done it, be, did it before if that was the, the plan. Um, all right, do we just play the rioters? I think we presence and draw a card here, see what we draw into. Okay, we draw a Sky Fisher, which isn't bad. Um, I'm going to keep Nikado back to block to play around Galvanic Blast. I mean, he could just blast the dude, but then at least that's not four going to our face. Next turn, we can just drop a 5-5. Five five. We can drop Pride Mage and remove this creature. He spent another bolt on a creature and not us, so that's good. Okay, we're down to five. Not the best. Glint Hawk, okay. Let's see what we draw here. Okay, land. That's actually good. Um think about this for a second. Skyfisher, Bouncing Presence, and then I can't recast it. Um, Pride Mage, kill his Monculus, uh, he still has, still has Bone Splitter. Can't play two dudes this turn. Yeah, this is not still not good. Wow, this was not the best draw there. I'm gonna fetch. Fetch out of plans. Um, either way here, I mean, I, I think for see, I throw out the rioters, and the next turn I could play Skyfisher. Pride Mage. Uh, yeah, I can. Next turn. So yeah, let's play Rioters. And assuming we live through the turn, which is doubtful. It's not good, but we'll see what happens here. He didn't move over the Bone Splitter. That was a little unusual. So maybe he just has it. Maybe he just has the Galvanic. Yeah, he just has it, and, and that's that. So we've been through some sloppy play on our opponent's side. We still lose uh, due to keeping sketchy hands. So uh, let that be a lesson. Don't keep sketch hand.